my video about lettering, Sebastian Sean Crow mentioned that they didn't know what gutters were for, so I'll tell you all about that. What the heck are gutters, and why should you keep them clean? Well, gutters are the spaces between panels. They signify a passage of time between panels, while the panel itself is like a snapshot in time. Gutters are one of those things that a lot of people kind of take for granted just because they're a staple of comics. Like, I think a lot of people see them without knowing what they are. And I'll be real, I didn't know what they were for a long time. I just assumed it was like, well, yeah, of course you have borders between panels. That just makes sense. I learned that from Ty Templeton, that they signify time passing. Don't put stuff in your gutters. It'll, it's just like a tip-off that you don't know what they are. Of course, unless you're doing something intentionally, like anything... If you're doing it intentionally and you have your reasons, it's okay to break the rules. But you have to know the rules first, right? Anyways, so when I see speech bubbles or narration and captions, like lettering in the gutters, like to me it just looks cluttered, it looks like you didn't plan out your, your panel well. Basically don't do it unless you have a good reason behind it. Like I mentioned in the lettering video, the only reason like say a speech bubble should be in your gutters is if the words being spoken happen over a length of time, or they're signifying a passage of time, or like a time skip or something. But that isn't to say that you can't have like lineless panels where kind of the panel and the gutter blend together and there's no boundary on the panel, because like you can totally do that to like make the panel feel more open. You can use it to show like something happening over a long length of time that's kind of bleeding over into other things. You can do really cool stuff with like negative space and gutters. For example, uh, in the Magpie, my comic, we do a lot of pages where like the separation between panels isn't like super defined because reality is being messed with by um, the Magpie, which is this elder god character. So that messes with time and reality and the gutters. Um, so doing stuff like that is totally cool, as long as you have intention behind it. So like anything, unless you know why you're doing it, keep your gutters clean. So if you ever... Have you ever seen those panels in comics where they're like, they're just one image, so maybe it's like an image of like a character's face, but it's split up into three panels. So like the image has been just like sliced up into three panels, right? I think... Avoid doing that unless you do mean for that image to be static over a long length of time. So say it's like it's a picture of character's face and it's been chopped up horizontally into three panels. That signifies that that character is standing there over a passage of time. So like they're not moving. They could be thinking about something or like something dramatic could be happening. But don't just do it because it looks cool and it'll make your page look more interesting. Oh, it can also, splitting um, a static image up into several panels can also signify a camera sweep. So like imagine a, a camera panning across something or panning up and down something. It can mean that. Or at least that's how I've interpreted it in the past. So knowing about this whole thing with gutters can help you decide like which shots you want to include in your panels. Because imagine your panels is like you're watching a story unfold. The panels are just when you decide to take a picture, right? Like I said, they're a snapshot. So you you have all this like variety of ways you can show things through the size of your panels or how many panels you include on a page. Like say you want to focus on like a singular really important moment, you can use a splash page because a reader is going to linger on a splash page for a long time. For if you don't know, a splash page is when um, it's one panel that takes up an entire page, kind of like an illustration. Um, they're used for really big important reveals and like um, uh, big moments. Right. They're used that way because the reader will be focused on them for a long time and explore all the details in them. Meanwhile, a reader will look at small panels very quickly. They'll jump between them quickly because there's not very much information in them that they need to look at. So you can really control the pace that the reader goes through it, and you can control the passage of time with how big of a jump there is between panels. So say if you have like a whole bunch of little panels with barely any like passage of time between them, you can show something going really slowly. Um, whereas if you have say lots of little panels with big jumps in time between them, you can show like Oh, a month passed really quickly, for example. Um, so you have a lot of variance with how you show the passage of time based on panel size and 
where you take that snapshot in time. So I hope that clears up confusion about what gutters are. I hope that inspires you to do some cool, crazy things with which shots you choose to to show. And that's all I have for today. So thank you so much for listening. Uh, if you have any questions or you'd like to request a video topic, please leave a comment down below and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!